Options. It's all about options. Now, when it comes to shelters, in my opinion, there is nothing more versatile than a square tarp. You can set them up in a ton of configurations when it comes to wilderness shelters. Today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share with everybody the 10 shelters that I see used the most when it comes to a tarp. A plow point shelter is a very simple shelter to construct and it's a shelter that is used by so many people at camp. To set up a plow point shelter, you simply tie one end of the shelter to a tree. The height of this can vary depending on weather conditions. You simply then take all other three corners and stake them out. Now with a heavier tarp such as this oilcloth tarp, some of these configurations need the center pulled up. It's gonna give the user more height inside to move around and enjoy themselves. The benefits of a plow point style shelter are that you get a lot of coverage from just a little bit of material. With the three sides pinned down to the ground, it protects you from wind that may be coming in at different angles throughout the night. And this shelter is primarily used when individuals know that there is incoming bad weather or you're currently in inclement weather. The plow point diamond fold shelter is a variation of the plow point. This time though, the user is going to use half of the tarp and fold it underneath itself. Once we tie one end of the shelter to a tree, we simply stake out the two ends, pulling the third end back inside itself. And what this does is it gives the user a ground cloth either to lie on or keep their gear off of damp ground. The downfall with this setup is that you are going to lose some interior room with the shelter, but the benefit of this shelter is that you do gain that ground cloth between you and the wet ground. The lean-to is like the go-to standard when it comes to outdoor survival bushcraft style shelters. To set up a lean-to shelter, simply take two ends, tie each end to opposing trees, and stake out the remaining two corners. Again, much like the plow point with heavier tarps such as this oilcloth tarp, pulling up the center point on this tarp is gonna give the user more interior space. The nicest thing about a lean-to style shelter is that in cold weather, you can keep a long fire out in front of the shelter. This is going to capture most of the radiant heat that comes off of that fire and keep you warm throughout the night. The downfall with this shelter though is that you need to have some experience in predicting what direction the wind is coming from. And also if the weather turns really quickly, there is a chance that if you don't have this set up correctly, you may get a couple sprinkles of precipitation on yourself. A sea shelter is a variation of the lean-to shelter. For the shelter setup, what we are going to do is we're going to create a lean-to, but rather than utilizing the entire tarp as the lean-to, we are going to utilize half of it. The remaining half of the tarp will then get tucked underneath the shelter itself, providing the user a ground cloth. What is really nice about this shelter is that in any weather condition, we have a ground cloth along with us just by utilizing the shelter we have so we don't need to carry anything extra. One thing to keep in mind with this shelter though is because we are only using half of it as a cover above us, it's going to limit our space inside. Now, believe it or not, an A-frame shelter is one of the shelters I see set up at my bushcraft classes more than any other style of shelter. The A-frame shelter offers the user a ton of protection. Both sides is closed in on this shelter and it gives the user a sense of security. It's very easy to set up, simply running a ridge line from tree to tree and then draping the tarp on the center line across that ridge line yields a perfect setup every time. The biggest drawback though with an A-frame style shelter is that if you have any type of fire outside, you're not gonna get that radiant heat inside that you would get with a plow point or with a lean. To. Probably my favorite A-frame style shelter is the coffin shelter. The coffin shelter is another variation of the A-frame. Simply take the back side of your shelter and close it into the next supporting loops. This is gonna close off one side of that A-frame. So if you look at it from above, it looks much like a coffin you would be buried in. But in our case, what it does is it gives more protection. So in very bad weather or changing winds, you'll have one open side of the A-frame and the other side is closed off. So although 
although this shelter is absolutely wonderful for very, very bad weather, it's very limiting, it's very tight, and it doesn't give the user a lot of availability outside to build fires or move around inside. Now, if you're in a situation where you not only want that long fire out front, but you might just think, ah, if it snows or rains, I'm just gonna close it down, hunker down, and I'm done for the night, an A-frame with a fly might be your choice. Set up the same way as we set up an A-frame. We use a ridge line from tree to tree with our center seam across the ridge line. In this case though, we take two sticks as uprights and we keep one end of the A-frame up in the air. This gives us the availability to keep a fire out in front, radiate heat inside, sit under it and work. But then at night, if the weather does get bad or we leave camp for a while and we wanna lock our shelter down, we can simply drop that front end down back into an A-frame type configuration. Now, if you're looking for total security, total dryness with just a tarp and not carrying a tent, an A-frame with a ground mat might be your choice. Again, running the tarp down its center seam off a ridge line into an A-frame configuration. The thing with this shelter is that you need it low to the ground. We are gonna then set up our A-frame and with the remaining material, we're gonna fold that material under the tarp. That material we fold underneath then acts as our ground mat. It's very much like a tube when you get inside. The downfall with this shelter is that it is extremely tight and there is not a lot of room for yourself, let alone gear. But in super bad weather, you can keep your body dry from the ground and a precipitation around you by crawling inside this thing. Now sometimes during the day when you're just out and about or you're at camp and you're not really gonna be sleeping out or maybe you are sleeping out and you just need something to keep you dry because it's starting to rain, we can fly a tarp very easily using a few ridge lines up above our head. The configurations for this is simply endless, but getting that tarp up off the ground so we can operate underneath it is a win all around. And if you want to just be down and dirty and you don't want to set up a shelter and you're just throwing down for a few hours to get some sleep, lay down your tarp, lay down your blanket, roll up inside and use that tarp just over your body. This is going to protect you from the ground. It's also going to protect you from precipitation. But the biggest downfall with this is that all of your condensation is going to get trapped inside that tarp because most tarps are not breathable. But it's better to have some condensation on you than rain from an absolute downpour. And just like that, we have tent shelters set up with a tarp. Super versatile piece of gear, definitely something you should think about carrying. Now, I personally like to carry a square tarp. It makes the configurations that much easier to set up. And sometimes with a rectangle tarp, when you go to set up a configuration, it just doesn't lay right. It's uneven from side to side and it doesn't do what you need it to do. So a square tarp is definitely the way to go. And then lastly, I know I'm gonna get some questions about this. What kind of tarp is this? Is it heavy? Is it light? So this tarp that I was using today is one of our new tarps that we are now making. So it's an oil cloth tarp by Cole Cracker Bushcraft. The current size we have on the these is eight foot by eight foot. As for weight, this tarp itself is six pounds in total weight. And I have found over the years of using different tarps, this is the best tarp as far as for ground camping because it lets you set up all these configurations and it's not overly big. It gives you enough room to keep yourself and your gear inside depending on the configuration. So before I head out, let me give you a quick preview of what this tarp looks like up close. All right, and that is the oil cloth tarp for Coal Cracker. If you like that thing and you like all these setups, head over to our website and check them out. We're gonna have them available and you're gonna love it. So this was Dan Wolak with Coal Cracker Bushcraft. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, check us out at coalcrackerbushcraft.com. Check out our oil cloth tarps, try some of these shelters out, and just have a good time when you're in the woods. And stay in the woods.